Well, good evening, friends. Welcome to Sanctified Studios, home of Friarside Chat. As always, I'm your deep, fat friar, Pastor Andrew. Friends, I was recently at a show for the collectors of antique action figures. It's a small hobby that I enjoy. When I ran into, you're not going to believe this, Bella Vista, Arkansas's renowned and self-proclaimed greatest action figurine creator. Why, I'm sure I don't have to tell you, but his work was featured in the way, way, way off-Broadway 8th grade production of McDarth, which is a wonderful compilation of Macbeth meets Star Wars. I absolutely couldn't handle it. I jumped at the chance to have him on the show, so please give a big Friarside welcome to our unbelievable guest tonight, Mr. Clay Maker. Mr. Maker, are you there? Are you there, Mr. Maker? Oh, well, good evening, my figuring collecting friar. How are you on this amazing evening? Um, they're action figures. I don't collect figurines. I collect action figures. Look, I would think that being Bella Vista's greatest known claymaker whose work has been seen way, way, way off Broadway, I would know the difference between action figures and figurines. But anyway, thank you for having me on your show. Well, I wanted to know, where does your inspiration come from? Where is it that you draw from when you're creating a new and amazing action figure? I don't make action figures. I only make figurines. Now wait just a minute. You, I mean, I thought you created action figures. My producer certainly told me that you created action figures. Hey, Friar, let me ask you some questions. You know all of those dolls that you collect? And from what I've heard, it's quite the extensive collection. How many of them, let's say, get up and walk around by themselves? Or maybe they put themselves on the shelf where they need to be. How many of them do that on their own? I mean, you keep calling them action figures, but is there any action to them? Well, I certainly don't collect dolls. That would just be silly and weird. But to answer your question, none of my collectible action figures are able to move on their own. They need me to move them about. Well, that is precisely my point. <laughs> I mean, one of my favorite verses in the Bible it reminds me of a situation very similar to this. It's found in James chapter 2 and verse 18, and it says... Now some may argue with you and say some people have faith, but others have good deeds. James says, but I say, how can you show me that you have faith with you don't have good deeds? I'll show you my faith by my good deeds. You see, Friar, the Bible says that when you and I become followers of Jesus, we're not supposed to just be faith-filled figurines. We're supposed to be full of life and action. We're supposed to be true action figures for Jesus. Huh. So wait, what you're saying, Mr. Maker, is that as a follower of Jesus, if I just sit and don't share with others the truth that Jesus loves them, then I'm just a faith figurine? I don't want to be a faith figurine. I want to be an action figure for Jesus. I want to be someone who goes and tells others the truth that he loves them very much. Oh, I knew that you would, G.I. Friar. We can do that together by showing the others the kindness and love of Jesus. Well, I've got to get going soon. Is there anything else you would like to talk to me about before I go? Oh, Mr. Maker. You certainly have given us a lot to think and to talk about. But if you would, before you go, could you, would you, I mean, if it's not too much trouble, could you show me and the other viewers the creation that the masterpiece, the amazing work of art that you're making right now? It would be like, like a pre, pre, preview. Oh, please, could you? 
masterpiece? What inspired creation? You mean what I've been working on? I was making cookie dough. I love this stuff, and besides, it gives me all kinds of energy to go and tell others about Jesus. Well, I better get going. Bye! Well, friends, there you have it. From Bella Vista, Arkansas's own master craftsman, Mr. Claymaker, the truth that you and I were not called simply to be faith figurines. As Jesus followers, we were called to share his love with others, and in doing that, to be action figures for him. So this week, friends, will you join me, your deep fat friar, as we get off the shelf and into the mix, sharing the truth of Jesus with others? If together we'll do that, we won't be just faith figurines. We will be true action figures for Jesus. Thanks so much for joining us here at Sanctified Studios. As always, I'm your deep fat friar, Pastor Andrew. We'll see you next time. <laughs>